Hey! Good morning, sir. Morning. Hey, how's it going? Hoppin' John, you know what it is. We never get a break. Since the day we opened, there have been lines all day long. We go through over 600 pounds of potatoes a week. It's because the food's good. <laughs> people are hungry and people are curious, so they come. And they always ask us for two things. More house sauce. Cause it's good. Yes, chef. It's good. And it is. And they also ask us, What's your secret ingredient? It's bay laurel. When southern food has that southern taste, it's the bay leaf. But I don't tell them that. The bay leaf. You know, that thing that confuses white people at Chipotle. It's the most quintessential southern flavor profile. The backbone. Yes, sir. You can find it anywhere. Side of the road over by the playground. Down at the beach. You can find bay bushes all over Dogwood. The use of the bay leaf goes all the way back to the indigenous dishes of our land's native inhabitants. When this land's people brought together the three sisters, you know Brother Bay was there. Those profiles continue today. Look, I got myself a restaurant and we do all right but I don't pretend to know everything there is about food. I know what's good eating, and I know what tastes like home, what tastes like the South, the things you miss when you ain't here. People call Southern food comfort food for a reason. Every Sunday after church, we used to go to my grandma's for supper. Biscuits, salted pork, gravy, grits. She'd make blackberry jam from a bush that grew out back along her fence. We'd show up in our Sunday best and she'd get the cooking. I need an hour, she'd say, or these grits will be tough. They'd already been soaking since Saturday night, but she had to get them from the counter to the cast iron. She'd asked me to run down to the bay bush out by her mailbox at the end of the driveway, flanked by two crepe myrtles, was a bay bush. Two leaves, baby, she'd say. I'd run down, pick them, and run back to the house. She'd take the leaves, gives them a little slice down the center, and rolls them between her hands. Oh, the aroma, like flowers. The grits simmer for at least an hour with salt, water, and the bay. Perfect every time.
spinning round and round.